Yes, Gotham. I have arrived. The Batman has arrived. And he's here with his uh, movie review for the movie Nope. Now, before we get started, one thing you have to do. You need to hit. I can't see this. Ah. Ah. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, it's still good. It's still good. It's still good. It's still good. Told you I was gonna do it. I'm gonna do this move review. Jordan Peele's Nope. How did I fare that movie? Nope was nope. What I mean by that, nope was dope. I really enjoyed the movie. But it's hot. I really enjoyed the movie. I can't keep doing that voice throat. Anyway, so. How do I start? I start out with this. There are some things about the movie that I really didn't agree with. Well, I mean, I ain't even saying agree with. That didn't make sense at the beginning. If you watch the movie about the chimpanzee, and then we get into it, and there was no closure to that other than something happened, but it really wasn't no closure to it. But other than that, it's been a while since I actually watched an extraterrestrial movie. So I was like, well, how can I go into this? And Jordan Peele found a way to... Add that element in there, the element of uh, other than suspense, the element of um, unknown. Because I'm going to tell you one part, I'm going to tell you later on, but I'm going to keep bringing this down. So um, the movie progresses. Um, uh, this guy, he wants, he basically wants to keep the farm. His father left for him. People want to come by it. And then, oh God, I'm going blank. Sister or cousin, she comes by and basically. They just kind of watch over the ranch. So, that's been a strange phenomenon. Sorry for moving the camera. I'm trying to get this thing right. Just got it. So, um, they've been noticing strange things going on. Noises. Like, um, um, winds and stuff missing. They're like, what in the world going on? So, they get some cameras around the house to find out maybe there's somebody coming around the ranch taking some stuff. So they get this guy, basically, he works at, I was about to say Blockbuster, Best Buy, right? And um, he helps them hook up the cameras around the house. So uh, while, while their day is going on, the guy that worked at Best Buy, he starts to look at the camera. Because, well, I'm, I'm going to get to that. And he's just like, no freaking way it's real. So he gets in his little van, he drives to the ranch. And he tells him, y'all don't see that. And, you know, she's like, hey, see, hey, wait a minute. You recording us? Hey, that's invasion of privacy. You can't be recording us in our house. And so he goes to the monitor, right? And he points out, he's like, I want you to look at something. So on the screen, there's a cloud that hasn't moved in three hours. If that's not terrifying, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not saying that. Nope, it's like one of those, one of those, ha, ha, no, it's one of those that it'll slowly creep on you. And it's been a while since, I, like I said, I've I seen an extraterrestrial film that made me feel this way. I mean, I've I seen Cloverfield and Cloverfield Lane. I, of course, I watch other movies about extraterrestrials. It's just that I'm not saying they they all had a good thing, but nope, was it, it hit it. And what I mean by nope, the whole situation was nope. Yeah, if you watch this movie, you're gonna be like, nope, uh-uh, nope, mm-mm. Even even the people in the movie are saying nope. <laughs> they add on to it like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Um, uh, uh, the guy who played Glenn from The Walking Dead, I can't remember his name right now. He did a good job. Of course, our boy Daniel Kaluuya did a good job. Kiki Palmer did a good job. Everybody else he did a um uh, a really good job. But I gotta give it to Jordan Peele. I gotta give it to him. Jeez, man. This movie was great. I'm not saying it was best because, you know, people watch Get Out, and I'm guessing a lot of people never watch Us, which Us is actually, it, it's a good movie. There's, like, too many subliminal messages in it for you to kind of get it, but I, I, I get what they're trying to say, but nope. I liked it. 
y'all y'all brought it back in. Y'all brought it back. Like, oh man. I didn't because I'm telling you, after that movie, for a whole week, I was looking up at the sky. Seeing which one of them moved and which one of them didn't move. I, I mean, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. It it to me, it deserves a, a second watch, third, fourth. Grab people, man. Yeah, watch this movie. Not saying it's the best, but damn, it was good for what it did. And for that, I shall give this movie a 7 out of 10. Because I care. And I'm Batman. Because I always care. Now, would you excuse me? I gotta go take this hot ass suit off. Because it is like a sauna in this damn suit. Other than that, Gotham, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And just remember, Gotham, you just been in, I mean, you just entered the Bakuza. Thanks for watching.